Researchers have come up with a new development for diagnosing a very common ailment, gum disease. The National Institute of Dental Research estimates 77% of all American adults show some signs of gum disease. Mario Cruz of Olney went to his dentist for a routine checkup recently, and sure enough, Mario found out that he has gum disease. Is that a surprise? Yes, it is. Uh, because I brush every day and I also floss regularly. Gum disease is caused by bacteria in the mouth. Most people have some bacteria in their mouths, but when the bacteria is allowed to grow and multiply, that's when gum disease develops. Eventually, the bacteria begin to eat away at the gum and bone. That's the reason many older people lose their teeth. I want to keep my teeth. <laughs> To help people like Mario get their gum disease diagnosed and treated, Biotechnica Diagnostics of Cambridge, Massachusetts has developed this kit. Others like it should be on the market soon. Doctors okay, take samples okay. of the bacteria in your mouth. The results will show your dentist how much bacteria is present and where. It takes much of the guesswork out of treating gum disease. There's a lot of bacteria, then what, we, what we're probably going to do is uh, plan on doing the whole nine yards of therapy including uh, cutting the gums and, and uh, repositioning them or antibiotics mm -hmm. or a variety of other things that uh, we do. But if there's only a small amount of bacteria, you don't need to go through all that. The test will tell your dentist only a minimum of treatment is required. Now that saves you time, money, and possibly a lot of pain. Dr. Belinsky says tests like these will eventually cut down on the overwhelming numbers of people getting serious gum disease. This is a great predictor for for early gum disease if we can pick it up in a young person we can avoid the eventual problems which many of us face i can tell you from first-hand experience the test itself is painless i was expecting to feel a little stab at least but i didn't feel a thing the pain may come when you get the bill however the test can cost 100 to 150 dollars the teeth look fine did you pass the test you know, I was really sweating this because I knew if I had gum disease, you guys would make me tell the entire Delaware Valley. I'm happy to say that I don't. Good. Good for you. Happy to hear that. Indeed. Thanks, Rob. Well, a lot of sunglasses may help you look cool on the beach, but many of them are not so cool for your eyes. Consumer advocates in New York are pushing for a state law in that state that would require labels on non-prescription sunglasses. Now, the labels would tell how effective the glasses are in blocking out the sun's ultraviolet rays. One advocate warns that many dark glasses don't do a good job protecting your eyes and that wearing unsuitable eyewear can lead to cataracts, night blindness, or even skin cancer. The New York sunglass law, if it is passed, would be the first of its kind in the nation. Looking to save in a car or a truck? It's yours at your Toyota dealer. Want a deal on the economical to sell? It's yours. Come at the